So with the help of everyone here today, four months from now, we're going to win the Texas primary. We're going to win it in a landslide. And we're then going to go on and beat crooked Joe Biden. He's crooked as hell. He's also incompetent. He's crooked and he's incompetent. That's a bad combination, Louis, isn't it? But we're going to beat him in November and we're going to make America great again, greater than ever before. Hard to believe because you look at what's happened. You look at what's happened to our country, and I want to tell you, it's hard to believe, but we're going to make it greater than ever before. We're going to have to have a massive deportation effort because we can't have this. We have them coming in from jails, from all of the places that you wouldn't believe, mental institutions. My people said, please don't use the term insane asylum. That's silence of the lamb, right? Silence of the lamb. Hannibal Lecter. Anybody ever heard of the wonderful Hannibal Lecter? We got him coming into this country now because other countries are dumping their people from mental institutions and insane asylums. In other words, an insane for Mario, insane asylum is a step above. Do you understand? That's the real bad ones. But we have them coming from everywhere, including a lot of terrorists are coming in. You know that, Louis. You know that common sense. You know, they just showed a chart on one of these crazy fake shows, but this wasn't fake, that in 2019, they found no terrorists coming into our country. And now they have numbers the likes of which they've never seen, Dawn. You know that, right? On day one of our new administration, we will end Biden's nation-wrecking war on American energy. He's wrecking the energy business. Who's in favor of cars that go very short distances that happen to be all electric? Is anybody? I don't think Mario likes, you don't like electric cars, Mario. He wants gasoline. He wants gasoline. He wants to go straight down and do a little turn every once in a while, right? And with the help of Texas oil and gas workers, we will restore American energy. And they gave me, by the way, they gave me their endorsement. I was so happy. Thank you. Thank you. Rhonda Sanctimonious came here trying to get that. They gave their endorsement to me. So it's really, uh, that was a great, that was really something. But you know, we were energy independent. Three years ago, we didn't need anybody. We we're going to shortly be energy dominant. We we're going to make so much money. We we're going to pay off debt. The $35 trillion in debt, we we're going to pay it off. We we're going to get it done fast too. But we're going to be paying, we're going to supply Europe all over the world. We're going to send our oil and gas. And then they ended it. They ended it. They allowed Russia to build Nord Stream 2, which I shouldn't have done. I ended it. You know, I ended Nord Stream 2. I don't know if you all know that. And uh, within the first couple of days, he approved it. That was the worst thing. That was the biggest project Russia's probably ever done in terms of dollars. And uh, I ended it, Louis, right? And then they uh, had him. Uh, he goes and says he approved it. He approved it. It was a dead deal. Nord Stream 2 going to Germany, all over Europe. And he comes in and he approved it. Then they say, oh, Trump, Trump wasn't tough on Russia. I was so tough on Russia. Putin said, if you're not tough now, I'd hate like hell to see you if you were tough. What we did was sanctions to Russia. We uh, did things that you wouldn't believe. But what we're going to do for our country is very simple. Drill, baby, drill. Okay? <laughs> drill, baby, drill. That's what we're doing. We're going we're gonna to get it back even higher. You know, we took it from third place. We were in third and even fourth place. We were, when I left, uh, unexpectedly, when I left, we were at number one by a lot. And uh, now they're dismantling all of that. They want to go all electric, even though we don't have enough electricity to uh, cool down California in the summers. You see, they had blackouts all over the place. This summer was a disaster. The winter's no good. They'd have, the whole thing is crazy. Let's go all electric, but we don't have enough electric to take care of somebody's air conditioner in California. It's all over the place. But I'm proud to say that under my leadership, the United States became the number one producer of oil and natural gas in the world by far. I mean, not just by a little bit. You have to see the chart. We ought to put up a chart. Why didn't you give me a damn chart, Mario? I'll put it right in the face of that beautiful piece of equipment, whatever the hell it is.
Well, that looks beautiful. That is a beautiful hunk of stuff. That goes pew. And we became a net energy exporter for the first time in the history of our country. Do you know that? Because of people like that. Within days of my inauguration, I approved the Keystone XL and the Dakota Access Pipelines. Literally within days. Remember, they were stopped. They weren't going to approve them. The guys, they spent billions of dollars. They weren't going to approve them. And actually, what happened is the Keystone was all set to go. It was started. They actually started it. Biden came in and he took it away. He took the permits away from everybody. I don't know how much money they lost on that deal, but they were going to build a pipeline all the way over, all the way over to the Gulf. And uh, Biden stopped it. And, you know, the amazing thing is the union head representing the pipeline workers, the union head, I guarantee there's not one worker that voted for Biden, crooked Joe Biden, but the head of it, they endorsed this guy. And he comes in and within two days, he ended the whole project. And those people suffered greatly. 48,000 jobs, 48,000 people that gave their life for that. And they never really sort of recovered. That's what they wanted to do. I withdrew from the disastrous Paris Climate Accord, which is a ripoff. It sounds nice. I want the Texas Climate Accord. I don't want the Paris. We don't need Paris Climate Accord. We want the Texas Climate Accord. This is the climate we want, right, Louis? No, that was one of the greatest ripoffs. Uh, China was exempt. India was exempt. Russia was exempt. China didn't have to do anything until 2035, think of it. But we had to pay billions and billions and billions of dollars to other countries because they were a growing nation. They call them a growing nation. What are we? We're a nation that needs it more than anybody else now because what they've done to our nation in the last three years, we need help a hell of a lot more than China and a hell of a lot more than these other countries that are ripping us off in every possible way, including psychologically, they've taken over the Middle East. Now Saudi Arabia is aligned with China. You know that, right? When did you think that was going to be happening? They're all aligned with China, Russia, China, North Korea with China. We've lost everything. We've lost everybody. We're like on an island by ourselves, but don't worry, I'll get them all back real fast and I won't be paying, I won't be paying anything for it either. They'll come back and they'll come back fast. They're gonna come back fast because ours was natural, theirs is unnatural. We slashed approval times for pipelines and other energy infrastructure to bring it down from 10 years to less than two years and we were gonna get it down to about one year before we got uh, temporarily, before we had a pause. You know the word pause? We have a pause. We have a little pause in here, Wesley. And it's a four-year pause, and it taught us how bad things can get. And that's why we're hotter today as a, as a movement. It's the hottest movement in the history of our country, by the way, by far. But we're, the, we're a hotter movement today than we were four years ago. I opened Anwar for energy development, which presidents had been trying to do for over 50 years. They've been trying to get it done. They couldn't get it done. I got it done. I had gas prices down to $1.87 a gallon. How does that sound? And we were producing at a level that nobody's ever seen before. The, the chart I was telling you about it is, it showed Saudi Arabia a line like, bah, 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 you know, pretty straight, pretty flat, going up a little bit. It showed Russia going up a little bit. And it showed us going like this. Then Trump gets in, and we were like a rocket ship. It went boom. And that's what, because we have more liquid gold under our feet than Saudi Arabia or than Russia. That's not bad. Our energy policy was maximum production, maximum prosperity. We had prosperity like nobody's ever seen. And also maximum power because it gave us power not the kind of power you're thinking about i'm talking about tremendous political power with crooked joe biden you have the exact opposite we're laughed at by everybody in the world they don't even believe it they can't believe it's happening our country is no longer respected all 50 states have hit record high gas prices 
but they're cutting way back on the gas. We're talking about numbers that nobody's ever seen before. Remember this, a lot of the energy production and a lot of the other production where you see the stock market, a lot of the production that we have right now, go ahead, please sit down. You know, sit down, it's very hot. It's good for me, I don't know if it's good for you. Sit down. They'll be up, they'll be standing up in about two seconds. When it, anytime I mention drilling, they all stand up. But you know, the Biden administration, if you look, they're so bad, but they're just coasting right now on the fumes from what we did. But those fumes are wearing thin, and you see that happening. The economy is horrible, what's going on. Biden blocked oil and gas leasing in America, and when he killed the Keystone Pipeline, he approved, remember that? The Russian pipeline shortly thereafter, Nord Stream 2, and nobody ever heard of Nord Stream 2 until I came along. Nobody knew they were building the biggest pipeline anyone's ever seen, I guess covering all of Europe. And what he did is he immediately approved it. I had it absolutely stopped. He re-entered all of the Parisian uh, situations where we were paying for everything and they weren't, the energy producers, and now he's pushing a suicide power plant regulations that will shut down every oil and gas and coal-fired power plant in America. You know, he's pushing regulations which will close up the power plants in this country. And the least he could do is take a look, a modern day look at Germany. Four years ago, I told Angela Merkel, who I got along with actually surprisingly well, she was tough, she made a couple of mistakes. A lot of, she really, she let about two million people into the country that they shouldn't have. That was a big mistake. And she made something else. She decided she's going all green. And they closed a lot of their plants, fueled by a lot of people and people here working there. And you know what happened? Their whole economy went to hell. And now they're opening up coal-fired plants all over Germany. Nobody knows that. They've gone the exact opposite because they tried this Green New Deal bullshit and it didn't work. It didn't work. And if Biden gets his way, the United States, and it's happening now because you see permits aren't being given out. They're taking everything. You know, we had that thing going so at a level, and now it's starting to come down because those times have expired and they're not renewing leases or anything else. The filing dates are coming due. People are going in for new drillings and they're getting rejected left and right. Who would do that? How stupid is that's like open borders. Let's open up our borders so the whole world can come into our country. These are stupid people or they're people that hate our country. And I'm not sure which the way I look at it, they can't be stupid because anybody that can cheat on elections as good as them. They're pretty smart, but there's an evilness and a sickness there. And I really think they want to destroy our country. If Biden gets his way, the United States will be reduced to an impoverished third world, crippled blackouts. We're going to have crippling blackouts. We're going to have people literally begging our enemies for mercy. We're losing all of our power with what they're doing. It's crazy.